In a two-part investigation into the criminal activity of accused pedophile Labo Labrado, we have uncovered criminal obstruction of a CPS investigation involving accusations of child sexual abuse. In the second part of our investigation, we uncovered criminal activity involving the hiding of financial assets and money laundering in a court case involving the law firm Share Legate. In the first investigation, we found through open court records that a complaint was made with Texas CPS involving allegations of sexual abuse at the hands of Lebeau Labrado against three child victims. What we have uncovered is that two of the victims are the children of his current girlfriend and receptionist director of the 3Rs School Day Care, Melissa Anna Dozal. Through testimony and redacted court filings, we uncovered that when Texas CPS investigators attempted to interview the two child victims, they were stopped by Labo Labrado and Melissa Anna Dozel from doing so. On three separate occasions, when the CPS investigator attempted to set up the required interviews, Labo Labrado refused to allow the children to meet with CPS and effectively hid the children. The children were taken out of public school, their heads were shaved, their last name was illegally changed to Labrado without a court order or the father's approval, and as of the date of this report, they are being homeschooled by their reported sexual abuser, Labau Labrado. We also found through court records that Labau Labrado does not allow the children to have any visitation with their families. Further, we found that when the CPS investigators attempted to contact the mother, Melissa Anna Dozal, to help her children against the sexual abuser, she responded by telling CPS to fuck off. Melissa Anna Dozal must be investigated for her perceived participation in the sexual abuse of the two child victims. Continuing our investigation into the relationship between Melissa Anna Dozal and Labo Labrado, we have uncovered that at the beginning of the CPS investigation, Melissa Anna Dozal and the two child victims were in fact living with Labo Labrado at Sun City Place in El Paso, Texas. Once the CPS investigation began to grow, Labo Labrado gave Melissa Anna Dozal money to purchase a house on December 8, 2020 at Diego Rivera in El Paso, Texas for $125,000. Was this the price for Melissa Anna Dozal's silence? Any bribery, complacency, and or participation of the mother must be investigated. In the second part of our investigation into the criminal activity of accused pedophile Labo Labrado, we have uncovered that Labo Labrado is currently being sued by Cher Legate. Labo Labrado has been accused in both lawsuits of moving and hiding financial assets to avoid divulging his true net worth to the courts. In one case, Labo Labrado was found to have moved and hidden assets during a bankruptcy case to avoid having his true net worth known to the courts and provided to his creditors. In our investigation, we have found that over the years, depending on who is being sued, Labo and Leith Labrado will change the ownership of 3R's school-slash-day care to avoid the business being counted as one of their assets. In one case, to avoid discovery, they have gone as far as to put houses, cars, and the school daycare in their attorney's name, David Leftman, a tax attorney in El Paso, Texas. In one case, court documents show that Labo Labrado took a large sum of money in the tens of thousands and put it into a credit card in Leith Labrado's name to avoid discovery by the courts. We also found that during this time, he took a large amount of money and bought Melissa Anadozel a house for $125,000 to kill two birds with one stone, obstruct the investigation into his sexual abuse, buy the silence of the mother of his two child victims, and hide his true net worth from the courts and his creditors. As our investigation continues, we have uncovered that in 2023, Labo and Leith's father, Edward Labrado, passed away, leaving them a huge inheritance in the high hundreds of thousands. It was during this time that Labo and Leith Labrado purchased matching Tesla cars. Even more concerning is that Labo Labrado, having lost his court case and owing millions of dollars to his former employee in damages, has once again moved and hidden his assets in an attempt to hide his inheritance from the courts and share legate. What we have found is that Labo Labrado sold the house at Diego Rivera in El Paso, Texas, on August 12, 2024, and purchased a new house on Cody Kyle in El Paso, Texas, on July 30, 2024, for $341,000, more than double the price of the first house, all in the name of a woman who is being paid minimum wage. Simply put, 
Labo Labrado, in an attempt to hide his assets once again, took his inheritance and bought a much larger house under Melissa Anadozel's name for the simple act of hiding his money from the courts and share legate. In legal terms, this action is known as money laundering. Labo Labrado must immediately be held in contempt of court and investigated for money laundering and tax evasion. We here at the Sammy C. Show will never stop protecting the children of El Paso, Texas. If you or anyone you know has information regarding the safety of these two children, please contact the Sammy C. Show. All information will be held strictly confidential. Please be aware that if you or someone you know has information about the sexual abuse against these or any children and or has received an outcry of abuse from a child, you are considered a mandatory reporter and are required by Texas law that you contact Texas CPS and make a report of the abuse. The Sammy C. Show, Citizen Journalist.